Dance Math Flicks. Hello and welcome to Dance Math Flicks, a video series on my Dance Mathcast podcast feed. I'm Dan Bach. The title of this lesson is Ways of Seeing Numbers. Hope you enjoy the show. This video is about how we see numbers. I decided there are many ways. Here are three of them. Visual groups for small and large numbers, numerals of different cultures, and the number line, sort of a mathematical ruler. Visual groups occur in these types. One, a simple eyeballing of the number like these three shapes, or a mother keeping track of her three children without counting them. Two, a helpful pattern that makes counting easy, such as the grid of 10 by 10 equals 100 small squares. Three, a fairly large group of 20 to 50 people. We can estimate or calculate approximately, try to count them exactly. Maybe that grid would help. There are many systems of symbols that represent quantities or numbers. You've seen Roman numerals in outlines or the year. There were separate symbols, but no real place value. The Mayan people about one to 2,000 years ago used a series of dots and bars, a combination of base 5 and base 20. They did have a symbol for zero. The current system of Hindu-Arabic numerals in columns of powers of 10 has been around for about 2,400 years. The number line is like a ruler that measures forwards, positive, and backwards, negative. The whole numbers and their negatives are shown here, making the integers, but fractions and other real numbers are represented here as distinct points along the line. There are other ways to see numbers. We'll look here at coloring by the numbers, keeping track of time, and measuring in many directions and dimensions using coordinates. We use hue values for bright colors. We can also use HSB to control the saturation and brightness. RGB is a combination of red, green, and blue lights in any proportions we want. And CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. There are other systems as well, including Pantone process colors for designers and Crayolas for the rest of us. Using hue values from 0 to 1, we can describe a bright color exactly. The hue values in these disks increase in steps of one-tenth. Remember, we can use HSB to control hue, saturation, and brightness. Hue angles go from 0 to 360 degrees, and there are the color names, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, or Roy G. Biv. RGB color is a combination of red, green, and blue lights. The more color we use, the lighter it gets. You can think of the amounts of R, G, and B as coordinates along these three axes. Here's a movie of a 6x6x6 six 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 color cube of the 216 web-safe colors from the 1990s. You can see the red, green, blue, and white at the corners of this cube. The other corners are cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. CMYK is a system used for print media or your inkjet printer. Think of mixing paints. Motion is being in varying positions at different times. Objects moving at a constant speed obey distance equals rate times time. Variable speeds require a time function. We can keep track of what time it is by numbering points in time, say every tenth of a second. An object looks like it's moving if it's in a slightly different position in every frame. Our number line was like an x-axis. If we add in a y-axis vertically, we can measure any location in the plane by a pair of real numbers x comma y, starting at 0, 0 and going x to the right and y up. This point has rectangular coordinates of about 3.5 comma 2. If we use r as the distance from the origin to our point and theta as the angle up from the positive x-axis, then we get polar coordinates like radar. The polar name of our point is about 4 comma 30 degrees. For a point in three-dimensional space, we need three coordinates, x, y, and z. There are also other systems such as cylindrical, polar with a z, and spherical coordinates. Well, let's put all these together. Using just coordinates, we can get simple sketches. With coordinates and color, gorgeous graphics. Put color, coordinates, and time together, and we get awesome animations. Let's look at a few examples. Simple xy coordinate formulas with y in terms of x may give simple pictures. Here's a table of values for a linear function and its corresponding straight line graph. 
Here's a modified trig wave. Here's a parametric curve where x and y are functions of t. And a pedal curve in polar coordinates r and theta. Or even 3D equations can expand the possibilities. Imagine what we could do with color. Well, you don't have to imagine it. Here are some colored curves of several types. A fifth degree polynomial, a compound trig wave, a one parameter family of cubics, or polar curves. Notice on some curves the color cycles through all the hues from red through violet. Here's that 3D curve now shaded in with a little color. And my favorite, a parametric 3D curve of rainbow hues. Well, time is sometimes called the fourth dimension, but in our case it could be the fifth or even sixth dimension. We've also got two or three physical dimensions and one color dimension. As time goes on, the image changes gradually and repeatedly, creating the illusion of motion. Really, it's just a bunch of pixels changing color a lot. Here's a Mobius strip twisting and untwisting itself. Here's a colored 3D parametric curve rotating inside a room with shadows. Remember, everything here is numbers. I did it in Mathematica. And a pretty fancy looking trig surface with a tangent plane and a quadric approximation. Check it out. And finally, we've got a couple of other cool number pictures. Here's an integer spiral. The blue dots are the prime numbers. Can you see any patterns? And here's a graph I bet you've never seen. The number of divisors of a number with n on the x-axis. The supercomposite ones are green, and the primes only have two divisors. They're lined up on the bottom. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show. This has been Dan's Math Flicks number two, Ways of Seeing Numbers. I put out a podcast about twice a month. Check out dansmath.com and Dan's Mathcast in iTunes and other places. See you later.